Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Building modern applications often means dealing with complex networks, connecting multiple environments, different regions, and even your on-premises data centers to the cloud. If you're running a three-tier application, ensuring secure and efficient communication between those web, application, and database tiers, potentially spread across different AWS accounts or VPCs, can be a real challenge. Today, we're going to look at how AWS helps us tackle this with its powerful global network infrastructure. And the star of the show, the game changer that simplifies everything, is AWS Transit Gateway. If you're looking to transform your organization's network on AWS, especially with intricate setups involving lots of AWS accounts and VPCs, Transit Gateway is your answer. Think of Transit Gateway as a network hub. Instead of having complex, messy point-to-point -point connections between all your different virtual private clouds, or VPCs, you connect all of them to the Transit Gateway. This drastically simplifies your network architecture. With Transit Gateway, you get effortless connectivity. It seamlessly connects VPCs not just within the same AWS region, but even across different AWS regions, ensuring your workloads can talk to each other no matter where they are. It's also fantastic for bridging your AWS cloud with your on-premises networks or other locations. Whether you're using AWS Site-to-Site -Site VPN, AWS Direct Connect, that's the private, high-throughput connection to your data center, or Transit Gateway Connect, it gives you the flexibility to link AWS resources across different regions and your hybrid network locations, like your data centers and branch offices shown here in the diagram. For specific industries, like financial services or media, that need multicast support, AWS Transit Gateway handles that too, which is a huge plus. Security is key. Transit Gateway integrates beautifully with AWS PrivateLink. This allows you to forge secure connections to applications in other VPCs. The amazing part is, all that network traffic stays entirely within the AWS backbone, it never has to go out over the public internet, which means you often don't even need an internet gateway for that communication. As we touched on, hybrid connectivity is a major use case. Transit Gateway simplifies connecting to your data centers. AWS gives you two robust methods for this hybrid link, AWS Direct Connect for dedicated, high bandwidth private connections, and AWS Site-to-Site -Site VPN for secure connections over the internet. These are crucial whether you're fully migrating or just need reliable links between cloud and on-prem assets. Looking at the diagram, you can see how Transit Gateway sits at the center, connecting multiple VPCs in different regions, linking out to data centers, branch offices, and remote users. It works alongside other AWS services like AWS Global Accelerator to improve performance, Route 53 for DNS, CloudFront for content delivery, and WAF for security, creating a truly global, robust network. For your three-tier application, this means you can place your web servers in one set of subnets in a VPC, your application servers in another, and your database in a third, often in a different VPC or even account for isolation, and Transit Gateway provides that simplified, secure, and scalable backbone for them to communicate seamlessly, regardless of where they are deployed globally. So, if you're dealing with network complexity on AWS, especially with multiple VPCs or a hybrid setup supporting applications like the classic three-tier model, AWS Transit Gateway is a service you absolutely need to understand. It's truly revolutionary for simplifying your cloud network architecture. What are your biggest network challenges on AWS? Let me know in the comments below. If you found this explanation helpful, please give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more AWS deep dives.